you want. <clears throat> Let's just load up Starfall. I don't know how well you can hear me here. I'm trying to turn the outside volume down because I've been noticing that's been getting in the videos lately. <coughs> I'm not sure where we're at. I think I was just, I've been at an automated dockyard. I've decided to upload every day now as much as I can because I was trying to stick to a schedule, but I think the schedule. Yeah. What I'm planning, oh god, I don't even know where I am. I think I was at the automated dockyards and then I've blew some people up. <laughs> I don't know if my ship's changed. I think my ship's changed. I've took off those front bits because I didn't really like the way they looked. I have tried to adjust it as well, but um, it didn't seem to like that. See, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to get rid of this ship. That's six, 980 cargo pitter. All these 537, fuel 140. I was thinking about putting another fuel system, and I've got four people now. I picked up this lady in. Where did I pick her up? In one of the, the, the starting planet. I picked her up. You have reached your maximum. Right, I need to check him off. How'd you unassign him? that lady on because she's got particle beam weapons this one gets astrodynamics and this robot gets all the other stuff Vasco I have got this adoring fan somewhere but he's the one from Oblivion <laughs> one from Skyrim that he freaks me out so um yeah I can't remember how much stuff I've got on me paper tube wonderful I've got a bunch of weapons I've got this regulator Um, I think I've dropped everything into my ship and I've Got me nice uh, outfit on. So what I am going to do with this order today, I'm going to go and rush off to do none of, the, none of these yet. I'm going to do some of these. This one, and I'm going to do a deep cover one. One's in Sidonia, and one is in New Atlantis. You know, typical political thing. I don't think they're going to do much. Because... You know, there's only been one Terramorph. I can't imagine them doing much. Because there's, I don't know if anyone mem members the mission, previous mission, or they've done it themselves. There was a Terramorph on a planet. We've now killed the Terramorph. Obviously, there's a big Terramorph to, um, attack on Londonia, which destroyed them all, so they're all paranoid now that something like this is going to happen. So now what I'm going to do is testify. If I can go up here, this might give me a nice, nice screenshot. Yeah, there. Or there, no. Oh, I am over encumbered, I didn't know that. I think I'm going to testify that this lady's job has just been waiting here for ages. The workup's in the cabinet's hands. They said they'll call for us once they've got... But listen, I know I should have been more forthcoming about who I was earlier. So, in the interest of full disclosure, there's one more thing you ought to know before we head up there. My relationship with the UC. It's more complicated than it might seem at first glance. The UC's actually the only reason I'm here in the first place. I... am a clone... of a man named Francois Sanon. One-time fleet admiral of the UC during the Colony War. Former head of the UC Navy. They called him Ve Victus. Woe to the defeated, in Old Earth Latin. A title he earned. The program... I was a part of, it was the UC's attempt to create a new generation of military minds from one of their most respected tacticians. Secure the leadership of the UC military for generations to come. Uh, doesn't sound like they succeeded in securing the legacy. 
This Van Vista must have been impressive command of the UNC. He wanted to clone him. He would have happily told you he was one of the greats. Ultimately, though, it didn't matter. The man I was cloned from, my father, was executed for acts he committed during the war. The man caused a lot of death on both sides. Freestar Collective and UC. Military and civilians. And the things he did, well, they're a part of the reason the UC and Freestar Collective aren't really on great terms to this day. So my involvement, it could be another obstacle they throw at us up there. I just wanted... Um... Wow, and I thought my father was this. Why did your father do the merit? Be? Why? What did your father do to merit being executed? He had his men open fire on civilian ships during the Battle of Cheyenne. A battle that he ultimately ended up losing anyway. Devastating the UC fleet and bringing the colony war to an ugly end for the UC. But he's also the one who ordered the bombing of the Londinian spaceport during their outbreak. Condemning countless yeah, but I think that one was just a fault. <laughs> Not those monsters getting out, do you? Um, so, wow, I thought my father... So use me to distract them. Not sure I can blame them. The family of yours doesn't sound like they were paragons of virtue. You are not your father. So, you know, it's their problem, not yours. I really appreciate you saying that. I just thought you deserved to... Well, she did go and try and save that colony with stuff, so... Already. You know, while we've got a second, was there anything else we needed to discuss? I know you got dropped into the middle of this pretty fast. Or if you've got any last minute business, no telling how long the cabinet's gonna keep. No, let's go out of. No. So honestly, what are the risks of us accessing this data? I'm strained from the amount of reading I've got on the horizon if we succeed. The Terramore project never went anywhere, it couldn't. They're deadly creatures, but they aren't Xeno weapons. The cabinet not opening the archives is probably a bigger risk than them handing over the files. That data itself isn't dangerous, which probably wouldn't be a bad point for us to bring up. <coughs> the opportunity arrives. Um, any suggestions on what was the size well, of the cabinet? Thinking about it more, I suspect there'd be value in sharing the fact that the Terramorph project was, well, a failure. There's no need to be afraid of this data being weaponized. Knowing that should calm some of the cabinet's fears and make it easier for us to dispel any suspicions the other factions might have about our intentions. Um, are you willing to tell me any more about your father? Your eyes, they're red. Is that a result of the cloning process? I mean, we never spent a lot of time together. He was too busy being fleet admiral to deal with kids. I was raised by... Would be more donor, wouldn't it? Until his defeat during the colony war, though, he was known as an extremely effective commander. Savvy. Perceptive. That mind opened a lot of doors for him. And for me, too. But Ve Victus, for all his ability, was heartless. Ruthless to a fault. He did bring an end to the war. Yeah, <laughs> that's what cost him his life. Perhaps his method in the madness? That's actually a souvenir from my time on Mars. The Red Devils unit I was a part of, they were founded by recruits who'd worked some of Mars' deepest mines. Folks used to adversity. The dust at those depths, it seeps into everything. The human eye included. Where the name Red Devils came from in the first place. It became an unwritten rite of passage that anyone wanting to enlist with the Devils had to do a stint in the mines before they could join up. The devils were always talked about in such revered tones during my training, so as soon as I was old enough, I signed up, and the eyes were my parting gift. There we go. Um, don't have any questions now. Then I guess it's just a matter of... The cabinet meeting is about to begin. All parties, please proceed to the cabinet chamber. Let's see. Does this give me some persuasion chance? Got that persuasion chance. That's got O2. That's got persuasion. I did go up by this suit look. It like, reminds me of like uh, I'm gonna put that on. It reminds me of what's that guy from uh I can't remember his name now. 
It's for that TV show, the, the one about the kind boys. And he always wears gloves. Quite nice, didn't it? Rocket ship. Come on, love. Let's get to it. Interstellar affairs. Oh, I am over. How much am I over encumbered by? 26 That woman with me. I dropped stuff off to you. Any news to share? Here, let me take that. Uh, what gun? She's got the shotgun. Oh, she's got the shot. It's me or her. Have I got any guns I can give to her? The barrow knife. The equinox. Oh shit, I got 10 of them. <laughs> I wonder why I'm so over encumbered. The Nova Light. Uh, apparel, wearable helmets, mints. Did you pick? No, that's all right. Let's talk again soon, huh? Talk again soon. I'm becoming a spectre. I'm becoming a spectre. Ah, welcome. You must be the captain Hadrian mentioned in her report. You have our thanks for the risks you faced in securing this information. How's your made it clear that addressing this issue is required the utmost urgency? Oh, I'm sure she did. Oh, fucking hell. Yes, well, Head precisely turn around. how urgent <laughs> is what I hope we'll determine here today. So now, we have two petitioners here making a surprising request. Access to the UC Xeno Warfare team's Terramorph data. Currently housed in the Armistice archives. Oh, shoot, request, she's got them. Which will require not just this body's agreement, but that of all three Armistice signatories. You see, Free Star. I don't think she's going to let us. We're obviously going to have to break in or something, don't we? Now, Captain, we've all read Hadrian's report on the subject. Perhaps you could summarize for the cabinet what it is you see as the goal of this endeavor. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just here to talk about what happened. Hadrian was the one with the grand plans. We need the archive of the phone to stop possible terrible apocalypse. We're still trying to figure out what we're facing. We can't make informed decisions without the day. Oh, I like that one. It's a bit more logical. Mm. That is something to consider. Though we also have to take into account the nature of the data you require. Pardon me. Madam President, I object to the very premise of this meeting. While no one would argue that what happened on Tau Ceti was anything less than a tragedy, terramorph attacks are not some sudden new threat on the horizon. They've been happening for generations. To demand we hand over banned archival knowledge and possibly upset the balance of galactic diplomacy because of a single attack seems at best panic. And at worst, a power grab by the daughter of a bloodthirsty warmonger and her associates. I would remind the chief diplomat who he's speaking to. If it's my father you're looking to address, you're welcome to consult a medium. I would also ask, how many deaths the cabinet requires to act? 50? 50,000? Because if tragedies like Tau Ceti are just prelude to more attacks, I have no doubt you'll get the body count you require. Let's keep this civil, shall we? <laughs> yeah, already started it. <laughs> there should be no doubt the preservation of life stands paramount among this body's duties. Chief Yassine has a point. Will a single attack, however troubling, be sufficient to convince the other factions to grant us access to what they no doubt consider weapon data. I don't think it's enough. Perhaps you can help, Captain. As the one who actually collected the sample in question, did this terramorph seem at all alarming to you? Not really. <laughs> no, ma'am, this is special. I only know what I was told. This tissue matched the one from Londonia. He walked to the car and then they've sort of this pretty alarming. Just taking her word for it as well, then. Hmm. So it would seem. So then, Captain, given the discussion now and the information you've been privy to thus far, if you were in our position, would you... Oh, probably not. Madam President, if I, if it were me, I would grant... I wouldn't grant the request. The archives are see for a reason. Personally, I would wait. We don't have enough information yet. Yes, I know. 
if there's a chance of what happened to us it would happen elsewhere we need to grant the request yes if the fear of the data is over then my program failed the data is not dangerous i might as well say that one that i hadn't thought of that captain an excellent point indeed the other powers would likely be much more inclined to work with us knowing that chief diplomat that that point is a good one no oh, thank you very well you have my agreement the galaxy is lucky you were here today captain you and i are in agreement chief diplomat so if there are no other objections i believe we can agree to give our full backing to make the request to what was that Get my gun out. Chief Sarkin, what's happening? Well, let's pick a gun. That's a 45 cal, that's 70. Where's my other one? Space for terror morphs. Oh my god. Okay, now time to get the big boys out. Give me. That's. Yeah, big boys. Terror morphs. More attacks. Just as predicted. Good god. He's doing it. Explanation. The creatures evaded our scanner somehow. There will be plenty of time for conjecture later. Chief Sarkin, order the evacuation of the spaceport and have your men contain the things, but do it discreetly. The last thing we need is a citywide panic. Yes. I think she's she's done this. She happened to be there, and now it just happens to happen again when she's near. I reckon she's doing it whatever data is in that thing. Let it take a while to bring them in. Well then. We'll have to make do with the tools we've got. You two. We can't risk those things getting out of the spaceport. I want you both on the next train there. We'll let them know you're coming and that you've dealt with these things before. Now go show them how it's done. We're on it. Uh, Captain, I'm right behind. I've got her gun. Let's get down there. Fuck it out. What oh, she's got a look at it. It's not exactly like I had lo loads of torrents, do you know? It wasn't exactly like I had loads of blissing things. But have I got any more protection? Because I'm going to put that on. Because these things are like monsters, aren't they? I don't. I don't, I don't. Right, it's all going off now, boys. It's all going off. Disassembled sword star. That's 91 rounds of 27 caliber. Well, any of the other pistols got 27 caliber. That's 45, 7, 7. Oh, Alright, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's book it. Let's go and kill some motherfucking months. Oh god, you should just stand in there. Nothing's going on, is there? God, why don't I get nice armor like that? Why not steal some nice armor? I reckon it's obviously her. That's my pick now. It's her. She's messing about. She wants access to these archives for some reason. I reckon, yeah. I reckon she's going after the archives for some reason. She wants the access to it to, I don't know, do something. It's her. I reckon it's her. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's kill, me, kill some Terramorphs. Hold on. I was going to check. So where's my skills? Look. So I've got 50% pistol damage. And I've got pistol damage. What the hell? Collect. Equip the EM rifle. Why have I got to equip the EM rifle? You don't see the kind of weapons I've got. I'm not really... Equip your followers with weapons to engage in non-lethal. How do I do that? Oh, that doesn't do nothing, is it? Did I, did I 
do all right back there? Jag stela för dem. I give that woman a, a nun. Okay. What have I got to do? Why are you so? Why are you telling me? <laughs> oh, is he still off? Not dead, is he? Error, bro. <laughs> Still that. Incapacitate. Assess the situation. I oh, just stood there. <laughs> stood there doing nothing. Thank God you got here when you did. I. I just. Yeah. What the hell happened back there, Captain? There's no excuse. Oh. This isn't a joke. We're preventing casualties, not now. Oh, whatever. The way those people were acting. I've seen this before. I... I don't know. They were down at the port and they just started screaming. We tried like billions of humans. I think we can live without those few. <laughs> those few terror brew uh, coffee Some people. The other officers down there. We couldn't restrain them fast enough. They just started firing on us. People we knew. They went berserk. Termonic projection. Some terramorphs, they can induce this fog. It affects everyone differently, but... Yeah, I think you're a bit shady, love. Control. Control. Turn against everyone around them, even if they don't want to. They're like a puppet. You kill the morph, you break the hold. But this means we're going to need to be real careful with our fire. And keep that EM weapon at the... I oh, used to just tell us to control some of mine. Suggestive. It's documented behavior. The result of the projection, though, can vary wildly. Some folks just shrug it off, others hallucinate, and some lose control altogether. They'll lash out at anyone around them, but still be aware while they're doing it. Those cases, you'll either need to knock them out with EM fire or free them by killing the Terramorph. Oh, okay. So this means I need to talk about you turning on me. I honestly was just wondering the same thing. But no, you don't need to worry about me. I've had a Terramorph try it on me before. I'm not susceptible. So we'll just have to make sure to watch out. Says that we need to hustle. Let's do it. Matt's unlocked. Please. Where's this lady? Can I get equipped her? Well, they should have told me that before I ran out here, because I don't think I can actually do anything with this woman now. I'm not really good with that like, laser weapons. I'm not really good with lazy the laser weapons. This is nice. In fact, that's still their uniforms. Never give me you any uniforms, and don't evacuate, evacuate. Let's hustle, let's hustle. Oh, there it is. Can I, um.
You're going to eat you alive. Ready to leave, reload all these guns. The end one. Got some bullets on. Where's the guy? Uh, check these other weapons. Need to be able to switch them quick. Creatures locked down on the landing pad, barely holding our perimeter. They said you've done this before. You said you've done this before. We've got a fire team to spare. One fire team to spare, and whatever supplies you need. But I, I can't risk them taking over any more money. Put those things down and do it fast. Right, there's still everything. Even men don't need it. Speak to the fire team. There's still everything. <laughs> about not stealing everything. That'd be downright rude. Speak to the fire team. I don't really need to speak to the fire team. It's not like we're you know, dependent on time, is it? Heard you might be looking for some backup. You two have any experience with Terramorphs before? Only the brief they just gave on the way here. Surviving a full-on mental assault isn't the same as keeping your cool in a firefight. Might make you more liability. We're not UC security. You don't need to worry about us. Then you're not sure. Roger that. We're on you. Yeah, just get them with us. If they turn on us, then I'll just kill them. <laughs> I'll kill them. That's how it is. Got my ship. Just shoot them. Where's my neural link to my ship? Where is my ship? There's two, two loads of them actually. Come on, come on, come on. modified by a stream. Uh, we'll actually use that. I've never used this weapon.
flank around it, flank around it. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Sorry, I'm back. I had to talk to someone. Um, let's get back to it. Is it still alive? Help! Help! Okay, now these things are built like beasts, aren't they? Let me get this one out. Get my coach, man. And the next shot, bro. Ha ha ha, bitch! All wrapped up. We should go to like burnt sugary out. shit, did it? I don't want to die. What were you here? What do you think you've been paid for? Red shirt? You've literally got a red shirt on? <sighs> These guns run out of bullets too quick. Oh, one of those guys died. No, oh, I didn't know that. That's a shame. Oh, no fairness, you signed up for it. This gun, I like this gun, but it's not really doing that much damage, is it? Not my ship, is it? One of the finest marines I've ever served with. Yep, thank you, UF Super Marine, for your service.
What did I just pick up there? Did I pick up a space suit? A, a marine suit? Oh my god! A minigun? Oh, what didn't get the... <laughs> Can you believe it? Can you believe it? A minigun? Sakura was in the the city safe. Don't worry, we're going to get the bottom of this what happened today. It's what they signed up for, not my fault, but it couldn't be hack it. The sacrifice was in vain. Protecting the many. And it would have been plenty more if it hadn't been for the two of you. The city owes you both a debt after this. We were just in the right place at the right time. Captain, we should report back to the president. Let her know the terror. Take care of yourself, Sergeant. Where's my girl? I'm beginning to think Sarah would have been better in this position. God, can I steal some armor from somewhere? Trying to let you help me, but you won't. You keep telling me to stop. Yeah. I wonder if your crew will leave if it's finding it the too finding it too difficult. You should have like some sort of mental health bar that sees their decline, and you know you can help them and do stuff. You know, because obviously your crew, you're supposed to care for them a bit more. Thank you. Thank you for anyone who's watching. Uh, it's nice to see ya. My god, Nothing's is that just a treadmill? <laughs> it's just a treadmill in the hallway. Obviously, I think she's organised this to get to these files. Let your people all know how much we owe them today. Yes, ma'am. Ah, there you are. I God, look at that woman just standing there. We should discuss. Captain? Hadrian? It would appear that the cabinet owes you our thanks for what you did for the city today. As well as an apology. Sounds like Rosaria Dawson. Your concerns about the Terramorphs will consider them validated. Thank you, ma'am. It's very convenient. Better let them know about it. Of course. I only wish we could have acted sooner. Now, are you about to act? Don't you know you're doing quite well there? Verified our path forward in the eyes of the cabinet. You will have our full support in collecting the Terramorph data from the archives, as well as a subsequent investigation into the. But to accomplish those goals, we're going to need the right people in the right places. As such, the cabinet has authorized me to reinstate you, Hadrian, effective immediately, to your former rank of major. As soon as we've got the data in hand, we want you investigating these attacks. Uh, yes. Yes, ma'am. I'd be honored. Excellent. That's very convenient, though, isn't it? But as you've both made clear, for such an investigation to succeed first, we're going to need someone to convince the free... Someone who knows precisely the sorts of dangers the colonies and all the galaxy are facing right now. The cabinet wants you, Captain, to be that representative. Oh my god. When he just met me? What are my credentials? I can't be your representative. I just I'm just some vanguard nobody. Tell me what I'm getting first. And uh, me, why not send some tip that's on the train the this sort of thing? That's a question. And wants it quickly. You're already far more familiar with the situation than any diplomat would be. There's also no diplomat alive 
that can claim they helped keep a cadre of terramorphs off the embassy doorsteps. The cabinet was unanimous. They want you. They do. If you're sure this is the wisest course of action. We're willing to fast track your citizenship upon collection of the data. So. We're oh, that's what I'm here for. And what do I get for being a USC? It oh, has that's its good. Perks. I forgot. Only citizens can purchase property. And there's also a credit disbursement when you first join. Help, but above all, you'd become a dedicated part of the greatest fact. That's fine. You can count on me, ma'am. Count on me. Of course, if anyone can't see me, I just did a British salute there. The proper support. Deputy McIntyre in the Office of Interstellar Affairs will be your guide on gaining access to the archives. You should be able to find her in our office of and on behalf of the whole of the United Colonies, you have our thanks. You're dismissed. Thank you. I'd rather get 9,600 credits. Technology here. It's an exciting place to be. Deliver the news of the terrible attack on the new. Hi there, Captain. I'm happy to help. Speak to Deputy McIntyre. Uh, Grendel can go. Minigun. Can I keep the minigun? What kind of damage does it put out? Uh, it's quite heavy though, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to give this to that lady. Quite heavy. That can go as well. I don't really care about the Equinox. The lawgiver seeming to be quite a disappointment at the minute, to be honest. Compare to equipped. Equipped. Yeah, she can have that one. <coughs> okay. Helmet. For the US for the UNC. UNC. <laughs> I was raised in Hope Town on Povo. It's a corporate town Poland. run by Ron Hope, the CEO of. He likes to sell it as a utopia, a place where work. But that's a lie. The conditions are awful for the average person in Hope. It's Ron Hope's fault. He controls everything. He controls that everything that happened in Hope Town. Our entire, uh, entire economy, is economy. On him. There's nothing stopping him from I'm going to go back to work soon. Another hour. Ish. Well, another but five minutes. Do it. Keeping your work for she sounds like that woman. <laughs> I can't remember. She puts on that voice. The big. The woman, the woman that was in um, American Pie and stuff like that. The mom. The edge of poverty. Like. Most and then she puts that voice on. Hopetown. My parents' wages from Hope Tech barely kept food on the table. For a long time, I couldn't imagine my life any other way. Ron Hope does a good job making sure his workers feel like it wasn't Sounds at home games. old enough to start working in the factories myself that I Yeah, I'm gonna skip this later. Things about us, suppose more people don't leave. Would if they had the chance. But Pardon me. Makes it almost impossible. They barely make enough to keep the lights on. That's why I joined the Free Star Rangers. I knew they'd fly me to Aquila for training, and I wanted to do something more meaningful with my life than building starships. I thought being a ranger would be a perfect fit. But it didn't turn out like I was expecting. Boarding the ship to leave Hope Town might be the best thing that happened to me while I was a deputy. You seem like a hard person, so how is In working the for the Rangers? I heard growing up. The Rangers were always described as the ultimate champions of justice in the galaxy. But if you've spent any time in the Free Star Collective, it's obvious that they haven't even made a dent in the problems there. Just look at Nia. Poverty and crime are all over the city. But the Rangers 
barely bothered to patrol it. Learning that made me reconsider my opinion of them. Why? Because I want the best for the people around me? Yeah, it don't compromise, love. That most of the settled systems doesn't seem to share my way. Oh, when I found you, you were sitting in a bar. <laughs> far from the only place with problems in the Free Star Collective. Oh God, I know this is getting. The longer I spent with the Rangers, the more I started to feel like they served the Free Star Collective's government more than its citizens. I couldn't make peace with the fact that an organization that claimed to stand for freedom and individuality let places like Hope Town exist. Eventually, the hypocrisy was too much. I made the decision to resign and move to the UC. It seemed like people there might share more of my views. Damn right for the UC. I think, that would, I think I would have made. Pakistan is taking it. it I'm sure the range do their best. Made you think the UC would be any better? The United Col companies and the Free Star Collective have never quite seen eye to eye. They do things very differently. The UC provides services like healthcare and job placement for its citizens. Those kind of things don't exist. In the Actually, like the UC better now. My opinion Out there, citizens. about the government's responsibility to its citizens seemed to fit better with the UC's way of doing things. Uh, I think I would have made the right same decision. decision. But it wasn't an Maybe I like the UC Vanguard a bit better now. Free Star Collective. <laughs> that was almost enough to keep me from leaving the Free Star Collective. I had my mind set on finding a better place for all of us. God, am I paying this woman so she can send some money I've back to her parents? I've been trying to find my parents a way out of Hope Town for years. I thought if I moved to the UC and found out things were better there, they might finally be willing to consider it. How do living for change It showed too. me that Ron Hope's attitude isn't unique. The Free Star Collective is full of people willing to take advantage of others to get what they want. And there are barely any systems in place to stop them. No one to tell them no or punish them for it. That's the downside. Sounds like the it's ruled by the elites. Things, huh? What about corporate social safety nets? Yeah, money, property, everything, stuff like that, people than the people. Born into poverty to improve their situation. Especially with people like Ron Hope and Benjamin Bayou in power. I'd call myself the exception, not the rule. Most people can't just hop on a starship and become a Free Star deputy. Did you find what you're looking for when you I moved to the I UC? At first, New Atlantis is clean and safe. And most of the people there are happy. And it seemed like the government was doing a lot to keep it that way. But my perspective changed after I took an entry-level job with UC Security. They stationed me in the well. I couldn't believe the conditions down there. It made all the UC talk of a perfect Oh my god, look, it seems like you've a bit... Now you're just losing me. You're losing me here. Yeah. Of course, there's going to be cracks in every society. I never believe that things that as a mass would make you think what good. What kind of things do you see in the world that change your perspective? Aside from the world, what else do you see Their major questions? Treatment question of the soul system to begin with. It's one of humanity's great. Do you see? No, it seems like you're a bit of a like you're hard to please now. And well-equipped military is also a bit off-putting. If they're committed to intergalactic, those are the kind oh. of questions you almost never hear. Pieces made behind the weapon, uh, behind the weapon. You know, the BOs, people take a bunch if you don't have an army to, you know, protect yourself. Uh, I've never believed that. Kind of, I think you're reading too much into things here, love. Most UC citizens might agree with you. 
Uh, I don't really. Yeah, I just fell from my eyes, leaving it. The problem is yeah. run too deep. There's, it seems to me, like the only option is starting over, huh? Maybe. Yeah. Good luck with that, love. That sounds pretty idealistic. I can't just sit around them, but I'm not. You try to do something about them. You know, go and join. Go, go off. That I don't even want you on my career anymore. Visiting the major cities and looking at... Good thing I'm working for a captain that likes to travel, huh? We'll hit all the major... Alright, sure, I, I think I can help you with that. And don't you worry. I won't let this just... Nice chatting with you. Yeah, I'll just give her all my stuff. I was just thinking. Do you How much more do I need some... to give to her? I'm not that. I'm 72. I'm 213. Oh, it does tell you how much she's got. Uh, what was I trying to give this woman? Yeah. I'd be happy to catch up later. Where was I going? Just before I finished the episode. But speak to deputy. Let's see if she's going to give me any money. It's orders of the Hangar Captain. You. Yes, sir. I'll make sure they get what they require. That must make you my vanguard captain. Welcome to Interstellar. You're Academy. welcome. I'm Deputy Chief Diplomat McIntyre, Chief Yassine's second in command. I heard you were instrumental in protecting the city from the attack. You have my gratitude. I was also informed that you gave quite the presentation to the cabinet. Chief Yassine Not really. wants you to know <laughs> the Interstellar Affairs Office is fully committed to this endeavor. Access. We're going to do everything in our power to make sure you have the tools you need. And that means first getting you into the archives. You do know what the... The repository will band out in the colonial Someone war. Someone paid attention in current events. I do so, pay attention. You grab the knowledge. Originally managed by the three major galactic players. Access to oh, the I know this bit. Though. Granted in case you see. So I'm going to have to go around all of them, no, talking the to them, and getting their permission. So that means we'll need to convince two people. But then to get the permission, I've got to do favors for each of them. I bet you. And you'll have your data. No problem. We're going to need some electrodes, a tooth extractor. <laughs> This is going to be hard enough already. Both ambassadors have... Oh, God, I have a joke. Or can't. Now, I'll provide guidance on how we believe you can acquire each code, but ultimately, it'll be up... To and I do mean cooperate. The rest... No, that doesn't. But it does mean we need to get you up to speed on who you're dealing with. Who do you want to start with? Ambassador Rad... How long have we got left? We've got... Five minutes. <sighs> the good Ambassador Radcliffe. She's a veteran of the colony war, and her only goal in life is to make ours miserable. Now, officially, our office is suggesting you try and negotiate with her. Use your experiences as a member of the military and with the threat we're facing to convince her to lend her support. And who knows? Maybe that'll work. Stranger things have happened. But my suspicion is we're going to have to rely on other tools to get her fired. Tell me what other tools. Oh, See, good diplomacy is all about the careful application of pressure. We just need to find the squeeze. UC Intelligence has a recording device planted in the ambassador's living quarters, which we suspect. But getting caught trespassing is a quick way to. So, if you are going to try and access the device, she reminds me of a member of Michelle Forbes, this woman. Oh, like Battlestar Galactica and no, Star Trek. We recovered some intel, we believed. But there's also a disgruntled staff member you might be able to... I'll do that. Any of the things I should yes, avoid during the interview? Don't steal anything. Don't get caught anywhere you're not supposed to. Absolutely do not harm anyone. If something goes wrong, we'll do our best to smooth things over. But I can't make any promise. What can you tell about the staff member? He's younger than Ratcliffe, bears less of a grudge towards the UC. He works closely with the ambassador, making him a promising source for information on the ins and outs of embassy life. 
and someone who very likely hates her guts. All so right. Only an ambassador Here, Redcliffe. Your diplomatic ID. I'll give them a heads up. You're on your way. Not likely to let you through the door otherwise. And take these. Chief Yassine wanted you to have some options on how to proceed in there. What is it? I have credits. Tell me about Ambassador, Ambassador Bumrah. A challenge. When the rest of House Baroon retreated into seclusion shortly after the signing of the armistice, Balmor stayed here. He's since lent his support to a small number of archival requests, so there's real hope he might again. Though claiming to know how a member of House Baroon thinks is a quick way to earn yourself a psych eval. Actually sounds quite promising. I'm sure he can be reasoning House Baroon are people just of like course. us. Oh, but there is another wrinkle. We're not 100% sure Balmor is actually still alive. His public appearances uh. were always rare. But it's been several years now since he last poked his head out. Scans of the facility show life signs, but not the kind we were expecting. Your task is to find him and kindly but firmly remind him of his duties under the arms. What the kind of life signs did you get? brought more than a few of their native flora with them when they set up in the embassy. It seems those plants have been allowed to flourish, making it hard for us to verify what's flora and what's ambassador. Wait, the no one's actually been inside the embassy. In sovereign territory, so we're not technically permitted inside. We've snuck in the occasional spy, of course, but the ambassador <laughs> has been <laughs> Elusive than you'd expect for a man a of his age, but we're quite sure he hasn't Get left the paper. city. <laughs> the man. What do I do if he's dead? Embassy for his biometric key. Collect your code piece, and we'll go about notifying his next of kin, if we can ever find them. But let's hope it doesn't come to that. I'll track him down. He's hoping we're not chasing the corpse. But I, of course, hope the ambassador is alive and well. Now, the embassy front door isn't an option, but our spies have stated there's a side entrance that should allow you access. Here, this device should get you all the way down to the embassy interior. Once you're inside, though, finding the ambassador is going to be up to you. And fair warning, we received a report that alarms might have been tripped inside the embassy during the attacks. Watch out for automated security in there. Now, if you have additional questions or require clearance for a new approach, we... I'd suggest you start with Ambassador Radcliffe. Approach her while the attack is still fresh in her. Be smart out there, Captain. You're available for dinner? <laughs> All right, thank you very much. I'm just going to, you know, get on with it now. I'll be back in the next episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. I keep forgetting to say this, but like and subscribe if you get a chance. Uh, follow me if you can. And, yeah, we'll see where this goes. Thank you very much, Lee. Have a nice day.